Greetings, art connoisseurs, tubers, and pickers. It's Drew. Time for another installment of the CPMA, and that's the California Pickin Museum of Art, where I show you individual examples of my own fine art and antiquities collection. So uh, let's go to it, people. Got a really nice oil painting to show you today. Real nice river scene. Uh, and it's an older canvas. Um, and the artist is down here lower left and that's C. Carlo and C. Carlo is an alias or a pseudonym for an artist whose actual name was Carl Kaufman and that's K-A-R-L K-A-U-F M A double N and Carl Kaufman lived from 1843 he was born to 1901 question mark some I've also read that it's been said that he died in 1902 and also 1905 so apparently they just don't have their records exactly straight on Carl Kaufman but what's really interesting about this character you guys um, is he painted under a lot of different pseudonyms and some of the names he used were P. Uh, Toretti B. Lambert he used also the pseudonym of Schwartz and also uh, Leo Perlman and I'm really not sure why he used all these different names um, initially I thought maybe it was to because um, uh, Kaufman was Karl Kaufman was actually a German a famous German Nazi uh, but this guy lived way before any of that ever happened, World War II. He lived before World War I. Um, so that wasn't a possibility why he changed his name so many times. Uh, now, artists did change their names for many different reasons, but one of them was uh, to not sound ethnic or Jewish. Um, and I think that's why he was picking all these other different kinds of names. Uh, he was supposedly an English painter. Um, but Kaufman also, I thought, was German, but um, uh, he, it's not a lot that I can find on him just yet, but I'm still doing my research, and I think that that's really interesting that he uh, paints under so many different other names. Just don't know the reason why for all the changes, you know, it didn't make sense. Um, as I said, I know a lot of actors and people in Hollywood changed their names uh, but this was way way before that so uh, once again I have acquired a canvas with two minor tears or rips in them that have to be repaired or should be repaired and there's one and here's another not too bad on this one and those will just require a couple patches on the other side and then some in painting but uh, Carl uh, this guy Carl Kaufman alias C Carlo was really a prolific painter I mean you can go online and see how many paintings this guy did he was very popular and he painted a lot of um, scenes from Venice Italy and um, a lot of landscapes and seascapes and um, just a very prolific busy artist so uh, when I went online and, and did some more research on this guy I just really found that he had done a lot of paintings in his day and uh, they range from you know really actually very kind of serious more serious work to a little bit more on the uh, you know possible um, you know landscape kind of touristy side but um, you can see he's very good with the brush and uh, I wouldn't say that this is his one of his exceptional pieces because uh, I went and looked on some of, uh, some of his other work and I had, did see some really really good pieces and I think um, but this is a, a great canvas nonetheless from this guy Carl Kaufman it's in a nice frame um, and it's fairly large I haven't measured it but it looks to me like about uh, I don't know like 20 by 
36 something like that don't know but um, now really what's interesting about this is that and I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because I may embed this video who knows but um, that I went in some auction records and he's got some really good prices attached to his work and of course those are you know canvases that are either fairly in fairly good shape or in restored condition etc without holes in them but gives you kind of a uh, a, ba a benchmark at where this might be and uh, so I saw a couple in the range of a couple thousand pounds English pounds and I saw one that was up to 9,000 pounds I'm not saying that this would bring that but then I was able to track down his all-time record sale and that was in 2010 uh, of an image of Constantinople and that went for are you guys drum roll guys $51,000 for a Carl Kaufman and that was sold I believe by Sotheby's so a real good auction house behind that and um, so wow Carl Kaufman fifty one thousand dollars now that would actually bump up everything you know even these kind of uh, second tier pieces of artwork I mean I, I like this piece but it's not exactly my particular style that I go for, of course, you know that, but um, I can recognize really good painting when I see it. So let's just check, check out some of these details. You got the guy in the boat, and you got this nice schooner over here waiting to go out on the sea, and these people doing their little jobs for the day, coming down, grabbing the fish or whatever really nice he's very good with his uh, reflections of, in the water and this all gets very part of impressionism guys is when you know you can paint something up close and then you step back from it as as you see when I'm going back you can see that it just becomes more and more like water so this is meant to be seen from approximately this distance but uh, that's a good painter for you C. Carlo, otherwise alias Carl Kaufman, P. Toretti, B. Lambert, Leo Perlman, Schwartz. I mean, this guy painted under all kinds of names. So I thought you'd like that. Um, we'll just have to see how that does. And uh, so if you like it, please subscribe, hit some likes, and come on back to California Pickin Museum of Art, the CPMA usually putting out videos on Fridays guys so thanks for stopping keep on picking your fine art cheers thanks